All righty, guys. Happy Friday. Cheers, by the way. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're all crushing it out there. And, man, we are looking green across the board yet again. Every index in the United States stock market is in the green, and we have SoFi up over 5 percent pushing over twelve dollars and fifty cents so guys you guessed it we have to break down sofi stock the charts the indexes but first hit the like button make sure to subscribe and get up to 15 stocks for a moo moo once you open up your account and fund it with at least one hundred dollars you get five stocks and a thirty dollar cash reward and fund your account with at least a thousand dollars you get ten more more stocks and overall your uninvested cash for now will earn up to 8.1 percent apy which guys that's a no-brainer i'm telling you this is the best deal on the market right now so check out the link down below or go to stasurfest.com slash mumu and with that being said cheers let's get right into the video so so far it is completely exploding hitting another fresh high on the year at twelve dollars and fifty four cents guys this is pretty epic as we're taking out the highs from yesterday again we just had a fresh high on the year and we're continuing to break out and you'll see on the uh the other time frames that we're well on our way now to thirteen dollars per share and mind you this is in the midst of a green day across the board the russell's up 0.3 percent s&p's up almost half of a percent the dow's up the most over half of a percent right now as the uh the nasdaq is actually not too much in the green uh but it's slightly green up about 0.1 percent and by the way the vix is down almost two percent so yeah, we're looking good, man. The green after the election is continuing. And if I pull the layers back a little bit here, now you guys can see uh, SoFi took out the highs from two days ago. Two days ago being Wednesday, we popped to about $12.30 in the morning. Then we pulled down a bit to about eleven sixty-five dollars intraday. Uh, that day, then we consolidated for about a day and a half, two days um, up until today. Now that we're uh, breaking out again, you guys see we're taking out the highs uh, from two days ago, the day after the election, uh, Wednesday, where the stock market went bananas. You guys remember that, uh, right? So yeah, we're, uh, we're looking good, man. We are looking very good. And do you guys remember the ascending triangle we talked about? I think maybe... Uh, yesterday or maybe that was the day before either way we covered this triangle which we broke out two days ago and that is clearly uh, still playing out it's very bullish and look we're filling the gap like I said earlier in the video we're on our way to 13 bucks we're now filling that gap isn't it crazy guys uh, if I get the max chart out here uh, why is it lagging on me here guys what the heck is going on uh, hold on. Give me a second. By the way, hit that like button while you're at it. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. I appreciate you guys as always. So I believe, um, oh yeah, we mentioned this, uh, I think yesterday. So 13 bucks, that was support all throughout 2021 for the most part. Yeah. I think that that entire year we held $13 as support. Then we fell through it, obviously making it resistance uh, so, yeah, that is a big target right now. Um, and I mentioned to you guys yesterday, I'll say it again, if we break 13, uh, the next gap to fill would be around uh, to $14, $14.15, that general range. Uh, that was actually the high from November of 2020. Uh, you guys can see this candle right above my head. You guys see it? It peaked at about... Uh, 14, I think it said 1405. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, either way, whatever. Um, that could be where it goes if we break 13. So yeah, bulls are pushing this thing higher and higher. And now get this guys, we're officially up from $5 and 86 cents to where we are now, 1255. 
We are up now 115% in the past roughly 100 days, which is uh, pretty insane, pretty insane, right? So we're continuing the breakout. It keeps on pushing, man. Of course, I'm still in the stock. My average cost is $6.80 um, right in that ballpark. So I'm up a ton. I'm not selling. I'm not buying more either. I'll be honest, guys. I'm not buying here, uh, but I'm just holding on tight. And like I said in the intro, guys, this is happening in the midst of a green day across the board. The Russell is trying to push uh, push back over 2,400 points. It's up over a quarter of a percent. The, uh, the NASDAQ, looking at Triple Q, is trying to push... Uh, all-time highs again, which we hit one. Actually, wait, it looks like we hit one in the pre-market today, um, which is nuts. We hit about 515. Uh, this still looks really good, obviously, on the uh, on the charts here. Bulls are in charge, no doubt, so maybe more upside on the NASDAQ could be coming here as we're officially breaking out finally from the highs uh, above the highs from the uh, middle of, you know, early middle of July. So that looks good. S&P probably hit an all-time high again today. Um, yeah, SPY hit 598. It looks like 35, about 20, 30 minutes ago. So all-time high was hit yet again on the S&P 500. Uh, we're pushing 600 points here on SPY. Um, the S&P index itself is at 6,000 points. Uh, we're going to hit that. Actually, we already hit that. We hit that point, guys, uh, which I did make a prediction a couple months ago earlier this year uh, that we will hit 6,000 on the S&P by the end of this year. And here we are. We just hit it, guys. We literally just hit it about 20 minutes prior to me making this video. We hit 6,000 points on the S&P. Uh, which is wild. And the Dow Jones, did we hit 44? Yes, we did, ladies and gentlemen. Dow Jones hit 44,000 points earlier this morning. So, guys, all-time highs today on the Dow, on the S&P. They're being hit. And SoFi, although it's not anywhere near all-time highs, uh, it's breaking out as well, obviously, as you guys um, saw on the charts. So we have other stocks moving like crazy today. Um, DJT, which is Trump Media, that one's moving uh, after selling off quite drastically uh, from around a week, week and a half ago. That's up about 17% right now. So I'm watching this momentum uh, to see how it builds up over the next couple of hours. Uh, GameStop, which I'm due to make a video on. This is heating up over 5%. GameStop looks like it's poised to maybe break out. We'll see. I'll make a video on that over the next couple of days, so make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for that. It looks like uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Visa is moving. Visa is up on the day, which they reported earnings a couple of days ago, and, man, their stock has been actually about 10 days ago they reported earnings. Either way, their stock has been up, up, and away since that, up about 10%, <clears throat> which is like insane for Visa in about 10 days uh, of trading. That's a, that's a big move for Visa. So, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. We're going to wrap it up here. I don't want to be too long on this video, but, yeah, SoFi continues to push. The entire stock market continues to push, and, guys, I'm here for it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe, guys, and get up to 15 stocks for a moo moo. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks, you get five stocks and a $30 cash reward. And fund your account with at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks. And overall, your uninvested cash for now will earn up to 8.1%. APY, which guys, that's a no brainer. So check out the link down below or simply go to stasurfest.com slash mumu. And with that being said, guys, cheers. I'll catch you in the next video.